battle with the warlike Anagas, driven wild by their superstitious fear of the monsters. Johnny, more on these so-called fake moon landing anomalies. What have you got for us? Yeah, after intense research, Johnny, I found that there are some anomalies that have cropped up. Yeah. Yeah. Sam's conspiracy theorists have just jumped on these bloody anomalies and just gone straight to the bloody opinion that the whole thing was a fake. I don't think the whole thing was a fake. I think that some strange things went on and some of the things we were shown or led to believe over this fantastic fortnight up there uh, actually didn't happen as they, uh, as they were presented to happen. Let me get this straight, Johnny. You think that man actually did land on the moon, but not in the way that it was presented to, to everybody. Johnny, as you know, uh, Buzz and Neil, I call them Buzz and Neil, uh, they were up on the moon. They were sitting on the surface there for 20 hours. 20 hours? I'm not sure a lot of people know that, John. Yeah, and the moonwalk they went for only lasted two and a half hours. So let me get this to you clearly, Johnny. What the hell were they doing for the other 17 and a half hours? First and most famous moon landing was NASA's most conservative mission. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin spent about 20 hours on the moon, just two and a half hours of which they spent walking around. Yeah, you wouldn't have sitting there for fucking 20 hours, would you? I mean, it's always been known that they slept for seven hours. Now, if you were landing on the moon, Johnny, for the first time in history, it'd be the biggest thing in your fucking life. And when you land on the moon, you don't say and look out the little window and say, we're just going to go to sleep for seven hours. You'd be jumping out of your skin. You'd be wanting to crank open that door and jump out. But that's apparently not what they did. They slept and did checks. Checks. Look, don't be so fucking stupid. So what's the significance of this, Johnny? So 20 hours on the moon, that should be enough to get people scratching their heads and asking, what did they do for 17 and a half hours? And bloody sleeping for seven hours doesn't cut it. Yeah, some, well, something else was going on. What sort of things were going on? I reckon they were probably out there. They went out earlier, went up and down the ladder and all sort of stuff. Maybe they did something else, who would know? But that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, people never went to the moon. Now that could be bloody cleaning down the bloody lunar module so there was no fucking dust on the legs because there was no dust on the legs. So naturally, Johnny, in this suspicious 21st century, yeah, yeah, pre oh yeah, yeah. So people looking at it, sitting at their computers in dark little rooms out there everywhere, they go through all these bloody films and all these timelines and all that sort of shit and they begin to think it doesn't quite add up. But that doesn't mean the bloody moon landings themselves didn't happen. They may have been just bloody reshooting things, shooting things, getting the camera working, doing all that sort of shit that we were never told about because we were told they were sleeping. They could have been doing all this sort of stuff. They could have walked over the hill to another lunar landing module. Jesus Christ, yeah, they did. That was there. They could have bloody done anything. Only a handful know the full horrifying danger. 